Hello and welcome to the screencast where we'll learn how to plot a tangent line to the graph of a function at a specific point. This is a very important process in calculus. Let's begin with the graph of a function. Going to the input bar, let's enter in the function p of x equals x squared plus x minus 1. To plot a tangent line to this graph at a point, we'll first need to plot a point on the graph. As discussed in another screencast in this series, there are two ways to do this, depending on whether we want the point to stay fixed in place or whether we want to be able to move it around. For now, let's plot a movable point on the graph. We'll do this by going to the New Point tool, clicking it, and then going to the graph and clicking the graph where I want the point to go. Make sure the graph is highlighted before you click on it, otherwise the point will not be on the graph but merely near it. Now that the point has been plotted on the graph, it's time to plot the tangent line to the graph at this point. To do this, go to this tool, which shows two perpendicular lines on it. Don't click on the icon, but rather click on the small down arrow in the lower right. This will bring up a sub-menu of related tools, one of which is Tangents. Click on that tool, and notice that the tangent picture is now in the toolbar icon. To plot the tangent line, we have to do two things in order. First, we need to select the point where we want the tangent line to go. So, with the Tangents tool selected, go over and click on the point. Make sure the point is highlighted before you click. Next, we have to select the object to which the tangent line is tangent. That means now we're going to click on the graph. Make sure the graph is highlighted before you click. A moment after the click, the tangent line to the graph at that point will appear, and its equation will show up in the algebra menu over on the left. The main thing we like to do with tangent lines is measure their slope, and GeoGebra will do this for us. First, I'm going to go to the button that has an angle drawn on it. I'm not going to click on this tool itself, but rather on the small down arrow in the lower right corner. And as before, this brings up a submenu with related tools, and one of those is slope. I'm going to click on the slope tool. Now to calculate the slope, I've made sure that I have clicked on the slope tool, and then I'm just going to click once on the line whose slope I want. What appears here is a small right triangle with a base of one unit, which we would use for calculating the slope through rise over run, and the slope itself is displayed. Since we plotted this point as a free point that can be moved around on the function's graph, if I go and click on the select tool, and then click and drag the point, not only the point, but also the tangent line will move with it, and the slope will recalculate as everything moves. If I wanted to plot a tangent line to a point that remains fixed and does not move, the process is exactly the same except I will plot the initial point using the input bar by specifying the coordinates of the point. For example, here's the process of plotting the tangent line to the graph of this function at negative 2 comma p of negative 2. So that's how to plot a tangent line to a graph at a point and measure its slope. Thanks for watching.